Hi, I'm Squeaky Clean Dave and in today's video I'm going to be talking to you about dead ends. Now, a lot of people might have heard of a dead end but not really know what it is, what it does, why it's important, how to set it. So in today's video I'm going to cover the dead end, how it's set up, why you need it and how you use it. So keep watching, let's go. So just before I start the video, I'd just like to thank Spring Europe Limited for sending me the brand new V16 controller. Now you've probably already seen unboxings of these, I thought well there's no point in doing an unboxing. This one is a limited edition, uh, it's very unlikely that you'll get this one in the, the fancy black box that you've seen anybody, everybody unboxing. You will be able to get these from your supplier but they will be marked up with your supplier's faceplate on so they'll have their logo on uh, whether it's Pure Freedom or Waterworks or whoever it is uh, buying it Window Cleaning Warehouse if you buy it from them and it's a spring one it will have their faceplate on but it will have the V16 logo on it so you'll be sure you're getting the V16 the V16 itself is very similar to the uh, V11 except for it's now got an on off switch so you don't have to do the fiddly bit with pressing the buttons together and turning things on and off you've just got a on dedicated on off switch which is nice and easy to use the rest of the controls are exactly the same as the V11 apart from the size which is exactly the same as the V11 which makes it absolutely simple to refit it because you've got the same fixing holes uh, the insides have been completely rebuilt um, it's it's like the V11 on steroids basically they've including things like pump smooth which uh, makes your pump work slower more efficiently and uh, more smoothly so extending the life of your pump they've put on polarity protection so when you're wiring it up if you change this over yourself which is a really easy job like I say the mounting holes are exactly the same places so that makes it really easy to change over uh, the polarity protect make sure that, um, that you don't burn it out if you connect it the wrong way round it just doesn't work uh, if you then have to disconnect it connect it the right way round and it'll work again not like the old days when it would burn the pump out, the controller out and you'd have to send it off to have it fixed so that's a, a great really really useful thing the polarity protect uh, they've also put something in called pump protection and this uh, is uh, controlling the dead end a lot uh, deals with the dead end uh, it makes it more accurate works quicker uh, and works a lot better with the pump uh, protecting your pump uh, when to just look after your pump and extend its life so now we had a quick look at the V16 I'll now tell you how you set the uh, dead end what it is and why it's important and uh, how to do it so if you look at the pump here it's reading 60 DE so the 60 is the flow rate uh, the DE stands for dead end. So what is dead end? Well the dead end is the detection that realises when you disconnect your pump or when you, dis uh, when you pull your univalve, when the water stops, if you haven't got a dead end on it, it will just keep pumping and pumping and pumping and of course blow off all your, all your connections, uh, your hoses will expand right out uh, and it won't do your pump any good. So the dead end is what stops the water flowing and stops the pump from pumping when you disconnect the water. Now there are two dead ends, there's one in the pump controller and there's one in the pump itself which is a pressure switch. So the pre pressure switch is a mechanical version of doing it, the pump controller dead end is electronic method. Uh, the one today I'm going to be talking about is the electronic method which is a lot more accurate uh, it's a lot more easy to control rather than having to mess around with an allen key sticking up the bottom of your pump trying to turn the pressure switch up and down um, so we'll talk about the electronic one and I'll show you how you fit that so a lot of people don't realize there are actually two scales on this from 0 to 99 the first one is your uh, flow rate so that will be how much water's coming out uh, when you're 
when you've got your uh, flow going. The second one is if you press the two buttons together, the two outside ones, it comes up Cal and then it's reading C25. Now the higher the number the less accurate it is or the less sensitive it is. The lower the number the more sensitive it is. So to make it less sensitive if you press up you can see it going up now I've got it up to 60 because it's less sensitive it doesn't recognize that the, it's turned off uh, and now it's gone on to PS so what's happened there is because I've turned it up above the sensitivity of the dead end on the controller it's then gone on to the pressure switch on that but it's telling you on the controller it's pressure switch if I turn it right back down if I put it back onto C25 and open the hose up on the thing you'll hear the pump turn off when I disconnect the pump it'll turn off really quickly and so that's stopped the pump from running now now the best way to calibrate your dead end is if you have your pole connected make sure you turn your hose on your flow on so it's running and then press it all the way down and you'll see it comes up AUT, AUT. Now that's for your auto calibration for your dead end. So once you've come up at AUT, press the return button. Now that's going to go through an auto calibration. So it goes up to C99, which it's running at, and you'll hear it runs for a few seconds. Once it's run for a few seconds, It's now run for a few seconds and you say, see it says C21. So that's what the auto calibrate says your dead end needs to be. So just press return then. So that's set, S-E-T. And now that figure there, the 60, that's not your dead end, that's your flow. That's gone back to your flow rate. So the dead end is now set at C21, which is the dead end. The flow rate is at 60. So when, when are you likely to need to change your dead end? Well, if you work in uh, height, you might need to change it then. If you're on a very hot day, you might need to change your dead end because your hoses will go softer. Uh, if you're using hot water, your hoses go softer. So when the hose goes softer, uh, they expand as they fill up with water. So the dead end doesn't notice the change in pressure in your hose so easily. So if you reduce, then reduce the dead end setting so it's lower down or do an auto calibrate, it will shut off quicker because it notices smaller changes in the pressure of the hose. Uh, other times that you might need to change it, you might need to change it up so it's less sensitive. Uh, what sometimes happens is you'll find it spurts, you'll get a blast and then it'll stop, it'll blast and then it'll stop. What that quite often is, is if your dead end is set too low. So it's noticing a change in pressure, it's turning it off, change in pressure, turning it off, but it's doing it too often. So that in those cases you'll need to switch your dead end up and then that way you'll have a, a more accurate reading on your dead end. Now another time you might need to adjust your dead end is if you've just had a system fitted. I re recently saw a YouTuber that had had a system fitted and they'd set his dead end at 70. Then he'd actually have a hot water system fitted and they'd set his dead end at 60 or 70. Now the problem with that is, I think um, a supplier should really know, but the problem with that is it's not noticing you're stopping your water quickly enough, especially with the hoses being hot, because they're expanding, so there's not so much change in the pressure. So you're going to get your hoses blowing off, all your junctions, your connections and everything are all going to start blowing off, uh, because it's not switching off quick enough. So what they quite often do with the suppliers, they'll set the dead end quite high and then they're less likely to have any problems uh, with it squirting and stopping and spraying and stopping and spraying and stopping. But it is a bit naughty, they should understand how the dead end works uh, a bit better than they do and set it lower or, or even auto calibrate it. If you were to, are at all unsure, do an auto calibration, it works really well. On the V11 it works well, on the V16 it works even better. And that way you know you've got your dead end set exactly where you need it. But if you do have your dead end pr uh, protection fitted and pro uh, set properly, uh, 
you'll pro prolong the life of your pump, you'll work better, you'll use less water uh, because it's not just stopping on and off. You're less likely to blow your joints off your and your connections off your pole and your hose and basically you'll have a much better day. So I hope you found this useful. If you did make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Uh, if you're having any problems I'll leave a link below to Spring Europe. They're, or the, they're a really helpful company really nice blokes there and they will sort out most problems that you do have so I'll leave a link to them uh, and contact them uh, thanks for watching bye for now